How exactly does result-based financing work? Does the population achieve a sense of control over their situation? Is the concept of teamwork reinforced and an efficient health system put in place? Result-based financing is organised by CordAid. Functions are split and every member of the chain plays an essential role in the outcome of the system. The donors, the Ministry of Health, the performance purchasing agency, local clinics and hospitals, and of course, the patients. This is how they're connected to one another. Major donors endorse RBF. Then the Ministry of Health and the Performance Purchasing Agency agree upon precise objectives to achieve and use indicators to measure the level of performance. One of the indicators may be reaching a certain number of births in the clinic. The purchasing agency and the clinic then sign a contract agreeing upon the results that, if achieved, will be awarded with a bonus. The clinic must make a business plan on how it will invest the bonus it receives. The better the results, the higher the subsidy. It can invest in better equipment or repairs to the building. In case of an emergency, the purchasing agency raises the subsidy so the healthcare can be given to patients for free or at a reduced cost. Result-based financing improves transparency. On one side, the Ministry of Health sets standards and inspects clinics, while on the other, the purchasing agency hires medical verifiers to inspect records and registers. At the same time, local associations are in charge of verifying whether patients receive healthcare according to agreement. This way, the community have a say in their healthcare and are empowered to ask for better results. The information collected by the verifiers is reported back to the Performance Purchasing Agency. Today, CordAid is working towards Open RBF, an open data system where every stakeholder in the chain will have the right to access information and results regarding the RBF system. This chain of communication guarantees transparency and high quality in healthcare.